Hi, my name is Irene Blumrad. I'm a sociologist at the University of California, Berkeley, where I also direct the Canadian Studies program. Immigration has defined my life. I was born in Spain to Dutch parents. I moved to Canada when I was four, didn't speak a word of English, immigrated to the United States over 20 years ago, and have also lived in France and Ireland. Seeing how those countries deal with immigration has really driven my passion for comparative immigration studies. And I want to share that with you today, talking about multiculturalism, integration, and citizenship in a context of immigrant-driven diversity. If you look at cross-national opinion surveys that ask uh, ordinary people whether they think there are too many immigrants, not enough immigrants, or whether the level of immigration is more or less uh, right, Canadians stand out, if we compare them to Europeans' attitudes, as being among the most willing to say that uh, the level of immigration is about right, or even could be a little bit more. Only a third of Canadians say that there is too much immigration. And this is really quite different from opinion in Europe. Some Canadians are worried about whether immigrants are adopting Canadian values, just like people in Germany or France or the Netherlands are also worried about those things. But in general, the attitude is very pro-immigrant. Um, this is particularly surprising when we remember that Canada is uh, a country of uh, large-scale immigration. It is a huge country. It's the second largest country in terms of land mass. But in terms of population, there's only 36 million people, but one in five of those people was born outside of Canada. So high approval for immigration coexists with high numbers of immigrants. And a lot of research shows that in fact, attitudes about immigration really are not tied to the level of immigration or the number of people. In fact, in a lot of places where you don't have very many immigrants, people can be really, really worried about this. So the natural question is what's going on in Canada? Well, some people say Canada's a land of immigration. There's been immigrants coming to the country for centuries. And if we think of a country like Germany, until very recently, just a few decades, Germany said it was not a country of immigration. And so history might play a role. Now, history does play a role, but we have to be careful about this because Canada has had various moments of very strong anti-immigrant politics and anti-immigrant sentiment. If we go back 100 years, the Canadian government worked hard to keep out people from Asia. It excluded Chinese and Indians. During World War II, it interned people of Japanese descent, and it also did everything possible to make sure that Jewish refugees fleeing World War II could not arrive in Canadian shores. So it's not the case that Canada has been a land of pro-immigration for centuries. Other people point out that geography is in Canada's favor, and this is certainly the case. It's over 8,500 kilometers from Aleppo, Syria to Montreal. So it's pretty hard to get to Canada, and you don't have the hundreds of thousands of asylum seekers that you've seen in Europe over the last few years. Similarly, if we think about the United States, they often have migration from south of the border, from Central America and Mexico, and it's much harder and further to get to Canada than it is the US southern border. So geography clearly helps Canada. It helps it provide the sentiment uh, that there is controlled, designed immigration policy. And part of this design of Canadian immigration policy is its focus on economic migrants. Every country in the world that accepts immigrants tends to accept them on one of three bases, either for economic reasons, because these people are gonna work in your economy, for family reasons, because they have family members already in the country, or for humanitarian reasons, because we want to protect them from violence or civil strife. In the Canadian case, the emphasis has been for a long time and increasingly over the last few decades on the economic migrants. And various observers say, well, this is why Canada's been so successful. They've picked sort of the best and the brightest in the world. Again, there's something to this, but if we think of a soccer team and we get a few really great players, just because you get the best and the brightest players doesn't mean your team is gonna win the championship. You have to actually make that team into a team. You have to integrate it. And so I would add that part of Canada's success has been its policies of integration, multiculturalism, and also its support for citizenship, including the very high levels of citizenship among the immigrant population in Canada. <laughs>